has come to do some show sugiban or yakisugi or charring of the wood, whatever you want to call it, on these posts. So we got some 15 by 15 posts over here that are going to be going on the front of the container to hold the roof up. And uh, we decided to use this method because it just has such a beautiful finish on the wood. So the method that we're going to be using is the charring of the wood, then brushing it once then charring it again and then brushing it again and then finally using some linseed oil to protect it and it's probably going to be re-oiled once a year to keep maintaining that control of the pests and also maintain the finish. Don't worry, I'll wash them. This one needs this side. 
Should we put all three next to each other? I just need to get my gloves. Your yeah, this one's got two sides left to do. Okay, so we should put them all three together. So put, yeah, so do, just swap those two. Just do these two, like this one and this one. Next okay. And then when it comes to doing this side, we'll put it with that one. And then we'll swap. What? Just do these two to begin with. And then just that way itself. No, because then when we do that one, we'll do this side with that one. Ah. My turn? to do we finish all the layers and all of the sides of all the phones and uh, tomorrow we're gonna be doing the still brushing before we do a second layer of the burning and then lastly we're gonna be doing another brushing with the still brush before we use the linseed oil to coat all of the pose and preserve them really really well but for today we're heading out and we'll see you tomorrow with this That was crazy. I just want to quickly show you the brush that I'm using as well. Just basically a metal brush. I thought, oops, I thought it was gonna be a little bit too harsh on it, but I actually, I think it's doing really well. I'm really happy with how it's looking. I'm just gonna show you very quickly a close up of it. So that was one side of each 
and uh, I'm just gonna do the other three side of all the poses now. <laughs> Overall, that was a really good successful trial. First layer of rustic shasugi bang on this pose. I'm just gonna show you how it looks now. Um, I think this pose over here is a little bit lighter on this side, particularly than the rest. But we need to do it again anyway. Another layer, and I'm going to continue with that burning. But I'm very, very very happy with the results i mean it's very time consuming for sure it's bad breaking <laughs> i think if you were a little bit higher and you had you know like a workshop like that the thing is that i was worried that that was gonna set itself on fire those legs <laughs> so i think this is a lot safer but it's a little bit too low that's the only thing but uh yeah i mean it's fine it's perfect it's looking beautiful i love it this is the before that color basically and this is the after good morning guys welcome back to the show so station and we're going to be doing part two today and it's a very foggy morning it's a little bit cold so Getting a little bit worried about this roof not being done in time for the weather because we really need that roof soon. Anyway, bear with us. So, um, some people were a little bit worried about the, um, the brush being a little bit too harsh for it. We are charring the wood very, very well. We spend a few minutes on each side of the post. So we really, really char it. I don't go over with the brush very harshly. I just kind of like I'm doing more superficial and what I am getting with this brush is mostly texture finish so the brittles are going with the grain and kind of scrapping a bit and just giving this brushy texture so I'll show you so it's easier that's what I'm getting okay and then if I go over here that's as far as I can go with the brush with this brush that's as far as i can go and it's happening on all the posts i can't go any deeper than that you have to spend a very very good amount of time and effort to go any deeper the reason why i want to do it again is because as you see over here it's very patchy and i don't really like that i want to go over it so it's a little bit more uniform and that also tells me that it's not being charred and therefore not protected so that's why we're going to spend a very good amount of time going over it. But I think the second charring is the key here. Good charring, softer brush, maybe a little bit more looser on the hand. And then we do this, the inset oil. I'm very excited about this. I hope it works because it's going to look very beautiful. Okay, let's start now.
going to do it with this one and I actually really like the effect and I don't know if you can actually see it but over here we have more of that texture okay so you can see that texture over here right by using just this one it looks a lot more smoother a combination of both so you have a little bit of texture some of that brown coming out and then just over with this one to have more of a smoother effect I think it's like <laughs> prime I think you're doing a great job thank you <laughs> thank you very much hopefully it looks nice <laughs> Please excuse my face, I should really um, wash my face in a minute, but before I do that, I just want to show you very quickly um, the end of it. And that's how it looks. That's not all. Okay, so the show of Ivan Fredo is coming to an end and that's going to happen with Olio de Linhaça or linseed oil in Portuguese and it's going to be sealing the wood, bringing all of those textures from the brushing, bringing all of those different tones from the charring of the wood and I'm really really excited because it's just going to look absolutely beautiful. Let's see what happens to it. Oh, I'm really excited to see what happens. <laughs> yeah, me too. You want to put it in a little bucky? No, I think it should be okay. I think you're gonna need to wipe the loads in. Yeah, it's not even yeah, it's absorbing it. It absorbed it like crazy. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Put it in like that and then rub it around. I don't think it's getting absorbed at all. No, why don't you use a paintbrush? Yeah, paintbrush might be better. So all the posts have been coated on linseed oil, one layer, one coat. I'm a little bit tired, so apologies for how I look right now. <laughs> um, it's been a long day, but it's looking uh, really, really, really good. I'm really happy with the result. I'm probably going to have to do a second coat. Um, I'm debating it. 
if I should do the second coat when the posts are up or now, like soonish, tomorrow, <laughs> and then a third coat once the posts are up. I'm not sure, to be honest. Let me know what you think. That would be really, really helpful. I think a second coat is definitely needed, but maybe a third might not be. It's a very, very thin oil. I'll show you how it looks. This crevice is here, don't worry about it. I've checked and it's basically what happens to wood when it dries, so it should be okay. Okay guys, so yeah, that's that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new maybe. I definitely learned a lot of things during this project and I'm really proud I did it almost all on my own. So that's really, really cool, all my really, really loves the results and that's also a massive positive so if you enjoy this video guys give it a like sub it really really helps our channel grow i'll give you a peep of that area over there and that's coming the following week Ate ya.